We're Amy, Sarah, and Eli, and today we'll be telling you why the Wachowskis should be considered auteurs. Uh, <laughs> it, is a, it is rare for siblings to become so equally successful and well-known to the point of being referred to as one unit, but the Wachowskis have shown phenomenal skill whether working together or apart. Each work has consistent quality and themes, often themes that rise from their personal and shared experiences. In this class, we've discussed the way that Hollywood has shown a massive prejudice in providing opportunities to men, men over women. It is extremely likely that the only reason the Wachowskis have been able to go beyond the typical single film that most women directors get is because they had been perceived as men. When Lana chose to speak out on her experiences as a trans woman, she knew she was sacrificing anonymity and further opportunities for what she felt was her responsibility. Across their works, the Wachowskis have used innovative techniques to show that, uh, that what you see isn't always reality. Sometimes it takes a perspective, a perceptive eye to see the truth for what it, uh, for what it really is. And often, when someone is able to perceive the truth of their, own, uh, of their condition, as opposed to the lies they were conditioned to believe, they will become the person they were always meant to be. One of the reasons why the Wachowski sisters should be considered artors is because of their incredible cinematic work. Uh, their most famous and popular project that they worked on together was the Matrix trilogy, which they directed, produced, and wrote. And the Wachowski sisters should be considered our tours because they were both highly involved in the creative process in each of their projects. Uh, for example, they directed, produced, and wrote Speed Racer. They both wrote the screenplay for the film V for Vendetta. They directed, produced, and wrote um, for the film Cloud Atlas. And they also worked on a television series together called Sense8, which they directed, produced, and wrote. Um, next, we're going to be going over why we think that they should be auteurs. We kind of covered a little bit of this in the other sections, but... Um, one of the biggest reasons is they're highly, highly involved in all the creative processes in their films. They write all their screenplays, um, and direct them and are also highly involved in the producing. Lily Wachowski even stated once in an interview that she was taking a step back from Hollywood because there started to be too many other people and producers behind the scenes and cre the, that started creative differences and the final cut started to be different from what her vision was. Um, another reason why they should be considered auteurs is they have similar, all their films follow similar themes. The sisters' films covered similar themes across all their franchises. One consistent one was being true to yourself. Since the sisters have come out as transgender, it has allowed viewers to see their films through a new lens. Um, and the sisters themselves have confirmed that their most successful film, The Matrix, is a trans allegory. The overarching focus of this film is that the main character who has become, has to become true to himself by stepping out of the rules of his world. Their films also contain themes of gender ambiguity, amb ambiguity and androgyny, even with some of the characters being different genders in multiple worlds or timelines, like in The Matrix or Cloud Atlas. Another reason why the Wachowskis should be considered auteurs is their, is their cinematography. Typically, the sisters work in action films and that have psychological elements. In regards to cinematography, the Wachowskis are known for their distinctive camera work on action shots. Their fight scenes consistently contain physics-defying moves, slow motion, and SFX. Their bullet scene from The Matrix is a classic example of this, and this scene has become widely known in pop culture and be has been shown in many other forms of media. The Wachowskis also are known for, comically, for commonly working with the same actors and crew in their, from their old projects. Um, some examples of this are Hugo Weaving, um, Kit Gary, um, Duna Bay, and a few others, as well as they've always brought back stunt talents from their previous work. In fact, almost all of the crew from their show Sense8 on Netflix has worked with them before in other movies. The Wachowskis 
how are some <laughs> the Wachowskis are some of the most well-known women directors. They've made films that are referenced and referred to time and time again, and they have a vision of what they would like to see on screen. And they combine all the elements of filmmaking to turn those visions into realities. If anyone deserves to be on the list of auteurs, the Wachowskis are among them.